Hey guys, so I just ordered a Camp Nodis Queen and she just arrived today. So there's blue tape around because the test tube that I have them housed in is not the same diameter and the Flavis has around eight likes. Let's tend to the brood and they can sometimes go outside. And the bigger ants usually have bigger heads. Here is a better view of everything in the box. The average time for a worker ant to go from egg to worker is usually around four to six weeks in optimal temperature. Something I've noticed with this species in particular is that they really like to mess up their test tube and get it moldy. I'm going to show you all of the queen ants that I collected today. So first up, I'm going to start off with a Formica Fusca queen. Just like last week's video, I'm going to be breaking it into parts. The winners of this contest are a tie between normal honey and maple syrup. Also, it looks nice and more like the rainforest. 54% wanted the Black Bishops, 25% wanted the Midnight Dynasty. Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing some Ants Australia Outworlds and introducing my new ant colony into them. Enjoy the video. So, now that the barrier has been taken care of, it is time to add in some rocks and twigs for the ants to climb around on. She sees the brown sugar water and goes straight past it and happily drinks the honey instead. Here is the ant colony I'm going to be moving in. This is a Campanata species with 10 workers and a good pile of larvae. Hey everyone, I want to thank all of you for helping my channel get to the size I didn't even think was possible for me to get to. I'm truly grateful to be given this opportunity to show all of you how great Ant Cupid can be. I'll see all of you in my next week's video. Peace.